Hey guys, got a question for you. Why do people grow up? I want to know. Why do people, like, with their age, show it? This is Greg. Through, like, their activities. Like, adults, they drink, they, they maybe play poker once in a while. Greg does not understand what being a grown-up is. They just sit around and talk at parties and... It's just like they don't they don't play hide and go seek. They don't do they don't they don't just they play water balloon fights or anything. It's just I don't <laughs> Greg is now trying to relate to young people by acting like a child. I don't understand it because like people have been saying, you know, uh you're you're pretty playful for an adult. That's amazing. It's inspiring that you just jump around and make an ass of yourself. And in lieu of having a job, Greg has chosen to jump around like a jackass for money. And it's like I'm doing this because I want to, not because I think it's cool. And it's like, I'm doing this because I want to, not because I think it's cool. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> Ugh, um, Adults suck. Let's get out of here, Abby. Anyway, I've just been wondering that because it's like, I just spilled water in the kitchen. And I was like, oh, dad's gonna get mad at me. And then I realized there is no dad. And I'm like, I see the water on the floor, I'm like, ah, <laughs> fuck you. And then I leave. That's right, kids. When you're a grown-up, you can dump water on the floor. The only thing stopping you is your father. Like, there's no, oh, you have to clean that up. Oh, you have to take care of this. And I'm wondering, what makes people change when they age? Why, why do they get so serious? And I have a few theories. This should be fucking horrendous. Theory one is that they get kids and they get super stressed out because their, their kids annoy them or something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, Greg acts like a stupid 13-year-old kid, an upper-class kid with no worries. They have a very bad financial situation where, but there are millionaires who turn into total fucking pricks. And there's millionaires that hunt down young girls to come live with them. I don't know, man. I, it can't be money because even rich people are dicks when they grow up. I don't understand. Do you guys understand why old people get so old? You know, if you're if you're not having fun... There's no point in living. You know, if you're, if you're not having fun, there's no point in living. Greg's message to his underage fans is not helpful in the least. That's, that's what I think. Like, if you, if you can't enjoy your life, there's no life to live, really. That is not what you just said, Greg. What do you guys think? Why do people age? If you're like a 15-year-old who's too cool to play hide-and-go-seek watching this, you aren't very much like me. <laughs> and seeing as age doesn't matter, Greg is free to join the game of 15-year-old hide-and-seek. Just know that. Because when I was, I was 15, I loved playing hide-and-go-seek. And, go seek. and when, I was, when I was 25, I loved playing hide-and-go-seek. And now that I'm 26, I love playing hide-and-go-seek. I just... Replace hide-and-go-seek with fuck a teenager. Just know that. Because when I was, I was 15, I loved playing hide-and-go-seek. And, go seek. and when, I was, when I was 25, I loved playing hide-and-go-seek. And now that I'm 26... I love playing hide and go seek. I just don't change. You play hide and go seek like about, I don't know, seven months ago. Huh? We played hide and go seek in our apartment. Yeah? Yeah. I play it whenever anyone asks me to. Yeah, it's fun. You won. Stop aging, people. And come and live at Greg's house. You know, you may look whatever age you are, but you don't have to be that age. Pay your bills, be responsible, have fun. Greg is absolutely unbearable. Hey guys, as you might know, I have two books out right now. Someone at this URL suggested the idea that I read my book review, so here we go. Read this book if you want to remember that one arrogant kid from high school and you know you wish you could have punched. Oh, you mean that arrogant kid that would punch someone just because they disagree with them? Maybe you should punch yourself. Not only is it poorly written, and I mean poorly written, why did you say the same thing twice? Because it's written twice as poorly. They say it's like an actual diary from a sixth grader. Oh, so you read a lot of sixth grader diaries? Hanging out with those sixth graders a lot, are we? If you want a book to attempt to invalidate your existence every other sentence, then by all means, buy this book. LOL. His philosophy is that of an angry, edgy 17-year-old. Yes, the main character is 17. Wow, a lot of you guys like repeating yourself. Greg will not be making any actual arguments. 
sentence. And by that, I mean a lot of you guys like repeating yourselves. This person says I went from the grammar of a seventh grader to that of someone in high school. Oh, so that's why I was in honors English in high school. In high school. Oh, so that's why I was in honors English in high school. English in high school while simultaneously attending college. Because well, Greg was in honors English. He was also in college. Greg is the most amazing liar in the world. Laura says my book is laughable at best. Well, I am a comedian. This is by far the worst book I've ever read. So far, your review is by far the worst I've ever read. In general, this book is horrendously written. Says the chick who doesn't indent her paragraphs, or at the very least, space them apart. Onision only wrote this book because everyone else on YouTube has done it. Actually, I wrote two books. But really, the second book was me simply telling all you people to go fuck yourselves. Greg must have been quite angry the world didn't like his writing. The first page onward, he describes anything and everything with an utmost arrogance and conceit that is nearly impossible to want to hear another word out of this kid. Wow, you sure are acting like you're better than that kid, which is pretty arrogant. And you clearly believing this kid is beneath you is kind of conceited. So, If you don't love Greg's book, you are automatically stupid. Congratulations on fucking yourself. The relationship that James and Abby develop in this story is not what I would call healthy. Oh really? Because I would call you writing a review this fucking long about a book you don't like somewhat unhealthy. You Wait till you hear what me and my friends have to say. Time-wasting, pathetic piece of shit. If you ignore the author's poor grasp on the English language. Okay, that's not a complete sentence. <laughs> when it comes to titles, you're supposed to capitalize every single word. But I'm obviously not an English major like you are. Abusive relationships and school shootings aren't plot bunnies to fool around with and use to get your characters to hook up. Oh, I didn't realize I was making the two main characters fuck on the dead bodies of the freshly executed students that attended their high school. God forbid someone talk about school shootings in America. Fuck. Dr. Business is sick and fucking tired of that book. What is the absolute best body type to have? Shit, we landed in Rate Me Town again. This girl right here is about to show us her body type. Don't disappoint me, woman. I want to see the goods. Oh, wow, there they are. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, what's important is that she's like super healthy. I mean, you tries hard to sound like it's not about that ass. You can really see that she's pretty healthy. I hope that she eats a good amount. And uh, wow, yeah, that's a, mm -hmm. a click uh, like on that video. Am I gonna get in trouble for that? You got this girl who uh, has basically the same body type. She doesn't have a lot of curves. She doesn't have a lot of curves. Like most women don't have a lot of curves. But like most women don't have a lot of curves. But you know, she, she aight, she good. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best body type. It's a good one. It's a good body type. Meanwhile, this girl has a bit more curves. Just a wee bit more curves. And that seems like, you know, really good outfit idea. Uh, I don't even know what I, my brain just went dead. I don't know why I just said that's a really good outfit idea because she's wearing a bikini. It's called a bikini try on haul in the middle of the winter. I'll just go ahead and thumbs up that. But no, as you can see, she has like a curvature a little bit more than the last ladies, which is, you know, good. But the other people are fine too. Then apparently we're going to see this woman's bikini body, which I'm not sure how I feel about. Oh my God. Oh my God. No. Greg will never understand what courage really is. No. Yo, right here you got like ripples and stuff. You're gonna get diabetes type two. It's just a medical fact. You need to, you need to diet like ASAP. In Greg's little mind, things are so simple. This is not okay. And you got this girl who's, uh, you know, body positive and whatnot. But you know what's even more body positive than just being fine with it? Uh, getting to a point where it's not hard to walk up the stairs. Where The character Onision needs to be slapped by the character Dr. Dennis Business. Maybe someone could draw that. Where you can like do all kinds of physical things and feel amazing in the process. That's where you want to get, where you could like touch your toes, where you know it's not hard to bend your arms or even lift your arms up. That's body positive. No, that's flexibility. That's, that's body real. It's actually doing positive things for yourself. And we got these girls who are posing. I guess we're supposed to be like, yeah, that's, that's what daddy like. Daddy like the whatever that is. But Dr. Business knows what you like, Greg. You like to mind fuck little girls that aren't yet smart enough to know what you are. But the answer is that I'm not really, I'm not really into that because you can see how, she, how, how she's coming over the side of her swimsuit even, like it's rippling over and you got like a crease there too. If I'm doing that in a swimsuit, I'm gonna feel like garbage. Meanwhile, the blonde girl on the left does look kind of good, but it's also not ideal. In reality, Greg is the size of an eighth grader. He must date someone of the same size to make him feel like a man. Just because, you know, it would be really, really nice to never have to deal with your significant other having any issues, really, at all. Greg them. just doesn't understand anything. He pretty much has a learning disability. Their body. Downside, uh, pretty much all women hate their bodies. Any all women hate their bodies. Any all women hate their bodies. Anyway, next. All right. Let's just, you know, let's just dive in. Yep, there we go. I, I can't. 
I can't, we gotta move on. Okay, so as far as body types go, this is insane. This is insane. And when I say insane, I mean like, how is a human being like this possible? She got all of her fat distribution and her butt. You guys nervous? I mean, her body's okay. It's not, you know, necessarily diabetes proof. You guys really gotta worry about the diabetes. Like I'm not fucking around with you. You could be like, oh, that's fat phobic, but it's diabetes. I hope you get diabetes, you skinny little bitch. I think, oh, there you go. You flipped it out much better. Yeah, there you go. Much better. So obviously she's like a beautiful woman. That's clear. And her body type is actually pretty great. I actually kind of like this body type. Maybe it's the way she carries herself or the fact that she's pretty in the face. I don't know. Yeah, or I don't know, something about it. <laughs> I mean, I once uh, dated a girl who pretty much had that body. So maybe that's why I have a bias. Apparently there's a plus size bikini competition and these girls are all in it. Um, not sure what you're competing for there. Um, not sure what you're competing for there. Greg, that's a fashion show, not a swimsuit competition. Did you know those two things were different? You look as boring as boring gets. Hi mom, how you doing? Yeah, it's real nice seeing my mom in a swimsuit, said no one. Actually uh, on adult websites, that is a kink. So this girl's talking about, oh, Yep, there it is. There's her outfit lit. I think I might have to freeze frame it though because she's like, up oh, there I am, now I'm gone. Because Greg has seen so many swimsuits, he will have to jerk off for most of the remainder of the day. Yeah, so she actually looks pretty ideal. It's basically the body that you would want. And by you, I mean my uh, imposed will upon all women. You know, because I'm a terrible guy. Anyway, meanwhile, this lady actually is the most ideal I've seen so far because she has curvatures. She has shape and she also does th that. Yep, she does that. And I like that. She should do that a lot. Dr. Business thinks Greg is a dirty bitch and we need to get out of here. Hey guys, I'm not Batman. I am Onision. Oh my god, I've lost all my sex appeal. As if I had any. Bah. Cringe. Oh my god, I totally can't pick my nose in this. Wait, wait. <laughs> Today's topic is... Dr. Business is sure we all know what happens when Greg wears a costume. Okay, Miss Terry is asking how it should be the first time someone has sex. Awkward. Time for the Batman mask to come off. I didn't want you to see me this way. Hey. Okay, so let's say for some reason you've never had sex before. I okay, so let's say for some reason you've never had sex before. I Why is this grown man giving sex advice to his underage fans? I have heard of plenty of 20, 25, 30 year olds still being virgins. I have heard of plenty of 20, 25, 30 year olds still being virgins. Greg must be directing this video to all the 25 to 30 year old virgins in his fan base. So I'm gonna pretend I'm talking to a 22 year old virgin. Okay, the so I'm gonna pretend I'm talking to a 22 year old virgin. Okay, the so I'm gonna pretend I'm talking to a 22 year old virgin. Okay, the Dr. Business knows you aren't talking to 25 year old virgins, and so does the rest of the world. First time you ever have sex, the guy or girl you're with should be completely accommodating in every single way. It is your moment, it is your time. You have every right to say go, you have every right to say stop, you have every right to say slow, you have every right to say uh oh, banana time! <laughs> And if the person you're with isn't willing to make it exactly as you want it to be, don't give them your virginity, you stupid woman or man. Oh my god. Remember, Greg is talking to 25 year old virgins. And I gotta say, this is where I'm kind of sexist. If you and the guy are both virgins, you should still have it exactly the way you want if you're a girl. Give her everything she wants. And yes, that means all your Phoenix Downs and even your elixirs if she asks for it. Storm the castle! <laughs> anyway, so yeah, guys, keep your chastity belts on till the moment's right. And even then, think twice. What 25-year-old virgin would be stupid enough to listen to this stupid asshole? You know what they say, you never really know your friends and significant others until they become your enemies. And then they show their true ugly nasty form. <laughs> These are my nightmares, people. My nightmares. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, roll song. <laughs> Girl, I fucking love you. Give me your virginity. No, I'm not just horny. I really, really like you. Your friends all agree that you are meant for me, so why don't you give me your panties? Put them on the ground, baby. Yeah, put them on the ground, baby. I won't post this to Facebook. I won't humiliate you. Trust me, baby. Just let me get inside of you. Please. That song is what Greg really wanted to say. What a loser.